Tammy, and you are seeing Spock Bear, my faithful companion. Um, he's here because I had to do a new intro for my video or videos um, because when I was ending my coloring space video, I kind of signed off forgetting that I was doing, I was adding another video to the end. So there are two videos back to back in this clip. One is my, the first one is my coloring space. And the second one is our painting space. So if you want to see, you know, the coloring space and not the painting space, then, you know, the painting space is at the end. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for watching and on to the videos. Hey everyone, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2. I thought I would do a video of my coloring space since I think people were interested of that in that and my painting area for painting minis. So I'll try to do this quickly and I'll try to do it without shaking too much. Um, but I thought I would start you out with my coloring area because you're like familiar with that. Um, so it's a nice day out. I have the windows open. Hopefully that won't make too much of a problem. Um, but anyway, so right in front of where I color, I have like oh, a bunch of uh, blender markers, those are all separate, like um, these are all loose, like each one of these. I bought them from Amazon um, and I just stacked them up on my desk and I put, you know, all the things I randomly use, like some colorless blenders, both my Tombow and my alcohol blenders, and then some glitter gel pens and spare pencils and regular pens and things that I use on a random basis because also, um, my coloring desk is where I work. Um, so, let me see if I can pull back without making too much of a, well, we'll do this first. Um, so, let me go backwards. Um, this is the part of the desk where I work. Um, you can see my work computer in the middle. Those are my hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil dragons. Um, you will see a lot of dragons in my space. Um, and then uh, this is my Glenwood flat cat. He is a Boyd's bear, but he is not a bear. He's a cat and he's flat and he lays there. I love him. Um, that's a random llama my dad, my husband found when we went to his house in Ann Arbor. And, he found it in the basement, and I'm like, ooh, llama. So, yeah. Um, this, if I can get to them without shaking you too much, those are a set of dice. Um, we had dice manufactured for our wedding. <laughs> and we have quite a few sets left, um, and I have a big jar full of them. Um, I have dragons and different things everywhere on my desk. I keep a bunch of sugar-free candy piled up behind my monitor. There's me and my husband. <laughs> uh, we used to, we did a show in Vegas that has since moved to Reno, but we would be in Vegas every year in March or April. And so I have a lot of pictures from Vegas and actually we met in Vegas. So there's a story for another day. Our love story is fun. <laughs> And if anybody wants to hear it, I would be glad to tell it. I joke all the time that I'm going to write a book about it, but I don't know if anybody read it. Um, and then I have all of the shelves above my desk. That's a, um, oh, I'm sorry. This is a Mega Bloks um, dragon pirate ship that I made. And I'm a Transformers fan as well as Star Trek, as you can see. Bumblebee and um, Optimus Prime and I have a 71 Super Beetle at my parents house that looks just like that blue one if you can see it and R2-D2 I'm a Star Wars fan not as big as Star Trek but you know um, that's a Romulan uh, bird of prey with Cthulhu on top who is holding a flower because I try to make my Cthulhu kinder and gentler um, you know Star Trek Beyond that's a popcorn bucket that they had when the movie came out um, Spock. Spock is my favorite. Um, and a tricorder and a communicator that from the original series. Um, my light. 
I have a stereo. That is a Magnavox stereo record player. It is only a record player. And I play it. I use it in this office. Um, it takes up a lot of space. So um, my desk, if I can go back around here and maybe zoom out a hair, um, is a large desk with a return. Oh, and there's all of my dragons and my Star Trek poster. All I need to know about life I learned from Star Trek. <laughs> and a bunch more dragons on that shelf. And I graduated from Ohio University, so I have a couple of Ohio University things. Um, but my desk is a large desk with a return. Um, I bought that at a an office furniture resale shop sometime in the late 90s uh, for $25. And then we refinished it. It's been around for a while. It's amazing. It's what I always wanted, however, um, it weighs about a million pounds and you have to completely disassemble it if you want to move it an inch or at all. Um, the top on this big top on this side is a solid piece of wood and takes two people just to lift it. That's how heavy it is. Just the top. Not with the drawers or anything else attached. Um, so Because it, it all comes off in all these pieces. So you'll have the drawers and things. And I keep my pencil sets and different coloring things in this. And I just have paper and stuff over here. Um, if I look over here, I have a coloring cart that I keep various markers and, and things on that I use. Um, this is my stack of coloring books that I color pull out to color for the month. And then I have a bunch of magazines and all the really large. Those are my Quirkle... Um, large color by numbers, which are the Arcturus books, um, my Quirkles and my Color Quests, which are too big for any normal shelf. <laughs> and then I have sets of markers up here. Excuse me. And then my um, swatch book and more markers. And those are all, that's where I keep all my little tiny postcard size books um, and really tiny books. And then up there, um, are my pets that have passed. Um, on the left over here in the denim, that is Batman. That is a scarf he used to wear. He was a retired racing greyhound. Um, and I put their collars, I retire their collars when they die. So, um, cause their collars kind of match them in a way and meet their personality. So I buy them a new collar. So my next greyhound was Midas. He is in the mahogany box with his collar and a little necklace that uh, was made for him that he wore sometimes. He was another retired racing greyhound. Um, and then my two cats that I had for almost 21 years, Ben and Chelsea, they were a brother and sister. I lost them two weeks apart, about four years, four or five years ago now. Um, so... That's that. Um, that is where I keep a lot of spare coloring supplies. Um, I keep all of my spare marker sets and things in here. Um, ex candles that I burn when I want to switch the flavors. Um, these are all spare marker sets and things that I use for coloring. This is a dresser that I had when I was a small child baby um so it's supposed to be a wardrobe for a very small person um and then i keep like glitter and um extra coloring supplies and things in there all my stencils and things this is just character sheets and um actually non-coloring related stuff this is a blaster my husband and I used to share an office and we gamed together in that office and um, he would run several of the RPGs and this is a, a blaster and he would, when he would do something I didn't like as the game master, I would shoot him. And that's why that's there. Um, that's a flamingo Easter basket. She was too cute to put away so I used her to store some different items 
And then that is my shelf of coloring books and a few coloring supplies on the bottom with records for my stereo. And um, my trombone is over there. That's a, an antique desk that I have beading uh, jewelry making stuff in. And I keep some staging of my coloring books and things like that on top when I'm not using it to do anything else. And I have a craft light, that's a knot light. Um, and really, that's it. Um, I can't think of, of anything else, but that's my space. When my husband and I bought our house, we bought it with a specific purpose that uh, we would both have our own space, office space. Um, and then we would have a spare bedroom and a bedroom for ourselves. And so that was our intent and that, that worked out because we'd been sharing and doing other stuff for years. So we finally got what we wanted. So I made it my happy space. And that is my coloring space. So I hope you enjoyed um, seeing where I spend a lot of my time working and coloring. And thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey everyone, I'm back with my painting area. This is where my husband and I paint our minis. Um, we have an unfinished basement that's a full basement under the house. And so we've made kind of cordoned off areas for different things and this is our painting area. Um, we just kind of put down an old spare piece of carpet. Um, and then we have an old table. You know, the idea is that we used an old table that we didn't care about. And I get little, I get some um, those cheap little tablecloths from the dollar store to put on top of it just because I get paint everywhere. <laughs> to be fair, the chairs are actually real antiques and I love them. I haven't refinished them, but I don't get paint on my chairs, um, to be fair. So, um, this is my side of the table. Um, I was trying to get the lid off of some glue, so I needed some pliers. Um, these are some, most of what I'm working on is Hellboy right now, um, to get my husband's game painted up. The only reason my bats aren't done is because I cannot figure out what color to make the rocks. So if you have a suggestion, let me know. Um, I want them to be cool, but you know, my bats are kind of a dark purple color. I love my bats. I just gotta make, I want the rocks to look cool. Um, I haven't done anything with my witches because painting people is not my thing, but I need to do something with them. And then I have camisats that I'm working on and a wolf. This is actually a grenadier dragon that I'm working on. I have to glue, I glued his wing on. I have another wing and two arms and his head to glue on. He's pewter lead, so I have to kind of glue one thing on at a time and let it cure. Here's his head. Um, if you wanted to know, this is what he looked like before, because I actually have several red dragons. Um, and these are the original boxes. Grenadier models, I think, went out of business in the late 80s, early 90s. I think it was the late 80s, actually. Um, so they they did old fantasy stuff. This is Nether Mall in pieces. He is a reaper, quote unquote, miniature dragon. Um, and he's made of what they call bones material. And it's a flexible material, if you can see that, which is kind of cool. It's not terrible to work with. Um, and it makes them really light and um, I, I enjoy it. Um, I do like, these are resin, if you wanted to know. And then you've got pure lead, which Hardly anybody makes anything out of pewter lead anymore because it's too expensive. Metal is very expensive. Um, so we have paints here. Those are nail polish racks that I got off of Amazon to stick the paints in. And then just office organizers of different types. That's my Tombow rack that came with my Tombow markers because I use a carrier for them, so I don't need it. Um, if I try to and you back over here. Here's more paint. More paint, more paint, more paint. Old bookshelf. Um, then tools and 
wire we have wire and things that we use because sometimes you have to pin things here's another mall's box um, if you want to see what he's supposed to look like sort of is there a better picture nope nope okay so that's kind of what he's gonna look like if i decide to go with those colors that's the box he was in um this cabinet has bits because when you do minis you have heads and arms and all kinds of things and leftovers so we put them in a cabinet so we can use them for things if we want to there's bases um these are all unpainted miniatures of my husband's and mine the tubs have foam in them at the top for packing things in um so these are more grenadier miniatures um that i've collected and these are dragons that i've cleaned because metal mini miniatures you always have to wash them and clean them and let them dry because there's um, releasing agents out of the molds. So it's a good idea because it can mess with your paint. Um, you don't want your paint to flake off after you've spent a long time painting something. Um, so I've cleaned all of them and I put them in cheap containers. These obviously haven't cleaned or anything. Um, so that's a lot of minis, okay? And there's some of my other bones miniatures that I need to paint. I was trying to figure out uh, which one I wanted to do after Nethermaw. Um, this is an old TV that my parents were going to throw out that doesn't work with the remote anymore. Um, so we use it down here. Works great. We just have to, you know, walk up to it. We watch, um, we have a hundred disc horror collection that I got my husband because he likes bad horror movies. And so we're on disc 29. <laughs> um, so we'll watch one of those. And then um, over here, if I can try to... So these shelves, this one on the right is me. This one on my left is my husband. And most of this is our Warhammer minis that have not been painted that I'm currently working on. Um, so, yeah, um, if you, oh, here was something I was, I was trying to find these the other day and I found them finally, um, but a friend of my husband's has a mini game, a, a role playing game, and it has stormtroopers that have bunny ears. Are those not the cutest things you've ever seen? So I got a bunch of them to paint them. This was a long time ago. And then another friend of his has an RPG about a role-playing game, sorry, about the socks that get lost in the dryer. When you lose a sock in the dryer, what happens to it? It escapes and it lives a life and it has adventures. And so he had minis <laughs> sculpted that are socks going, you know, um, there's... There's a whole bunch of different little sock puppet type, you know, when they get painted, they'll look more like socks. I think I have a half painted one here. Yep. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, when am I going to paint the socks? They're going to be like so many colors because socks can be any color, right? So I was, I guess I was doing something with that the other day. Um, some of my Warhammer minis, um... Here's a big one. This is my death death claw drop pod that I put together. Um, I have a whole bunch of really big minis. I have a brass scorpion. Um, I'm sure you're not really interested in in Warhammer minis. <laughs> my husband has a. I have a Chaos Space Marine army and a. War Machine Army that I still have some minis to paint. Um, my husband has a regular Space Marine Army and a Tau Army that he's working on. And then, um, what else? There's not a whole lot else. Um, we have tools and things over here. Um, old chairs. Uh, that's a bunch of terrain and things that we use. So... There you go. 
I mean, you know, just the rest of the basement is like storage and laundry and stuff like that. So, um, that's our humble painting area. We tend to not throw things out, we reuse things. So, you know, anything we can make use of, if it still works, hey. But, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, um, seeing the painting area and if you have any questions let me know i you know hope i covered everything and that you didn't throw up watching this <laughs> but uh i will see you in the next video have a great day bye